Hey folks, you know like many of you I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on tool bag setups and top five tools for a particular profession but most of them that I've seen anyway and I've watched countless seem to be very specific you know it's a central tool bag setup for a HVAC person or a plumber or top five tools that a homeowner should have so that's why I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you my tool bag setup. This is a tool bag setup that I think every homeowner or handy person slash general contractor should have and probably already do. Uh, so I think, uh, I think if you get this setup or something similar, you can add or take away a few, you'll be able to tackle 80 to 90% of the issues you'll run into uh, as uh, a handy person or a property manager which is what I am or a homeowner um, and again like I said these are tools that pretty much every general contractor are going to have you know they might have quite a bit more but uh, this is basically the essentials at least for me and I'm also going to show you that you don't have to break the bank to uh, to have everything you need to tack or most everything you need to tackle like I said 80 percent or more of uh, of the repair uh, issues you'll run into. I'll jump right into it. Uh, I'm a tool bag person. I find a bag a little more convenient than a box. You might not recognize this tool bag by its Duramax Pro brand, but you will recognize it as a three pocket Husky, which uh, you can buy at Home Depot and online. Um, Husky basically licenses out the uh, the 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 name or I guess a company makes it for Husky, Husky because they got the same uh, product number. But it's identical right down to the stitching. The only difference is this was I think three or four dollars at the local dollar store here in Canada. So this is a perfect example of you don't need to break the bank to have tool storage. There's really no excuse to walk around with your tools in a garbage bag, which I have seen. So jumping right into the bag, um, We'll start off with the uh, the outwardly pocket. Uh, I like to keep the small stuff, and the stuff I use on a fairly regular basis uh, in 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 the front pockets, so they're easy to easy to grasp at. Uh, in my profession, what I use the most is uh, a multi-bit screwdriver. You know, if you're like me and you use uh, a lot of, uh, or you're dealing with a lot of fasteners. A multi-bit screwdriver kind of takes the place of, uh, you know, six or eight different uh, different screwdrivers. Be sure to get yourself, uh, not just screwdriver, but with any tools that you use regularly, the best brands or the best uh, quality, the best tools you can afford. You know, if you get cheap stuff, dollar store stuff, and you use it frequently, it could fail, it could even damage what you're working on. So with this multi-bit set, it's got everything I need, good steel in it, so they're not going to damage fasteners and it's not going to break on me. And you know what, it was I think about $10. You can probably get a, a good one for for less than $10, but certainly under $20. Moving uh, beyond that, I got adjustable wrenches or crescent wrenches. A couple sizes, got the littler one, what size is that? 150 mil and a slightly bigger one. Basically to tackle anything up to about a 20 millimeter bolt. I also got punches and stuff in there, as you can see. Uh, moving on this pocket, I can keep that up. Uh, flashlights, I got a couple flashlights, bright ones. This one's a, uh, got a magnetic end. And it's handy because it's two, two tools in one basically. So you can stick it onto something if you're working uh, around metal or if you drop a, a nut or a bolt you can pick it up with the uh, the magnetic end So I got a couple of those got a utility knife uh, It's important to have some kind of a knife it doesn't have to be expensive one. This is an Olfa You know, they're not too expensive. I think they're under ten bucks But even uh, you know two three dollar one that you find at the grocery store Just some something to get you by open up a package or cut a zip tie if you need to um even though I use mostly my multi-bit screwdriver, I do have a few dedicated screwdrivers. And these ones are just basically old beaters. Mine are all flat blade, so got one there. Got an old Craftsman up here. 
uh, and I got a really, really big one down here. You know, it's uh, well, it's probably a good eight inches or more. Uh, the the blade anyway. The uh, and what I use those for is basically anything that you know I need to pry open. You know, if you need to pry something open, be it a, a paint can or you need to kind of chisel away at something, use it as a pry bar. Uh, you can do that and you know what you can you can use it as a chisel in instances where you wouldn't want to actually use a chisel and maybe dull in the end you know it's not quite what they're worth or uh, what they're meant for but they're not worth a lot so it doesn't really uh, affect much you know if you hit the end of that with a hammer uh, speaking of which I do actually carry a chisel uh, with what I do I move a lot of or just a lot of hinges you know you move strikers up and down or striker plates to uh, kind of get doors adjusted and in those instances in those instances it's 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 important to have a chisel you don't have to carry a full set I just carry the one size I seem to use the most and again I'm not using a, a fine woodworking hand chisel because you know I'm not doing fine carpentry this is just a general construction chisel I got the three piece set for under 15 bucks so, you know, if you, you pick out one of your favorite or you just buy the one chisel, it's really inexpensive. Uh, moving onward, uh, bit sets. You know, uh, I work a lot with fasteners, but even if you don't, you should have quality uh, drill bits because cheap ones can, can round uh, screw heads. Uh, I've seen them break, so you can break things, you can hurt yourself, you can do a lot of things. Uh, you don't necessarily want to do so get yourself a decent quality drill bit set any brand just a set that's got good steel and a nice variety of the the ones you use the most um and again they're they're inexpensive uh if you shop around get them on sale you can get them often you know 60 70 percent off so get a case like that for 10 bucks um i have a few drill bit sets i got that one that's another one and then uh this right here, you might not necessarily need, but I keep it just in case. This has some, some socket drivers, so it can turn a, a normal drill into kind of a, a socket driver. We're putting in leg bolts and stuff. Again, that's kind of optional, but it's handy to have. And again, that, that, that case, just like this, I got it on sale. It was really cheap. Uh, speaking of fasteners, you should carry an assortment of just nuts, bolts, screws. You can't carry everything, but a little bit of everything, just to kind of get you by in a pinch. You know, if you need a screw to tighten something up or something's come off, you got it. You know, this bag is all about getting you through in a pinch and having what you need to just kind of get the job done or at least temporarily put things back together until you can get around to it. So that's why I carry stuff like, you know, wire. I do have zip ties down there. I do suggest that you have zip ties because zip ties and you know wire or twist tie on a roll very handy for uh, wiring things up you know if something's hanging low and uh, I carry wire cutters just for cutting that but if you don't want to carry wire cutters uh, at least carry a set of needle nose pliers or linesman pliers that have a, uh, a wire cutter in the middle of them. Um, I don't have my needle nose pliers in here, but I do typically carry a set of needle nose pliers. They're handy for getting at things that are hard to uh, hard to reach, or if you're twisting something or trying to take off a you know fine bolt, uh, they definitely come in handy. I don't carry wrenches. I don't carry a set of wrenches, so that's why I got the adjustable uh, adjustable wrenches, crescent wrenches, and uh, vice grips. I got an old set of vice grips, but they're actual vice grip brand, so they still work, even though they're older than anything. Uh, and with all these, it saves me from carrying an actual wrench set. And I don't carry really expensive adjustable wrenches, and like, you know, um, again, I, I don't, this isn't for working on the car, so I don't have my good snap on in here or nothing like that. But uh, moving forward, hex keys, Allen keys, you can get these uh, multi. Uh, piece sets, and standard metric, this one's Mastercraft, that's a Canadian company, uh, real cheap, you know, a couple bucks, two, three bucks, they get get you by in a pinch, not too expensive, what else is down there, 
uh, oh yeah, just spare screws and stuff. You know, you can never have too many uh, just spare screws. There should be in there. Uh, moving forward, that pretty much does it. I got some extra stuff here that you might not need. That's a outlet tester. But things, oh, there's my little, uh, you don't know I didn't see them. Little pry bar, that's a little, little pry bar. I use this for trim, you know, baseboards or getting underneath something just to lift it up. Uh, you know, obviously this bar comes in a lot of sizes. You can get this bar in, a, in about a 20 inch long uh, wrecking bar style. But uh, this is good, good for pulling out brad nails. Have one of these, or maybe two if you got the room, a small one and a larger one. Good for doing trim work. So moving out of the bag, you should have a hammer. Everyone should have a hammer. I don't suggest anything too big. You know, a 20 ounce or bigger is actually too big for most jobs around the house. Just a nice little 16 ounce uh, claw hammer will do the trick. Variable speed drill. That's got a two speed motor and an adjustable chuck. It's an old Makita, but it does the trick. I suggest a drill with an adjustable chuck so that you can chuck, chuck it down for uh, fine work like cabinetry or turn it up for you know doing work, uh, drilling holes and stuff like that. A tape measure, okay? Uh, I have a few tape measures. You really only need one. If you're gonna have one, have at least a 24 or 26 foot tape measure. Uh, you know, I carry a little 16. I wouldn't have anything smaller than a 16. There's really no point. But I like 16s because I can throw them in my belt. And I'm not a framer or anything, so I'm not measuring out anything uh, too big. Um, if you can, if you can afford, afford it, uh, a separate impact gun. It's my DeWalt uh, 20 volt. That's, that's good for driving uh, big fasteners and stuff. But if you're going to have just one, I suggest a variable speed drill with a few settings. That kind of does uh, the best of, of all worlds. To finish it up, set of gloves if you want, and a roll of your favorite tape. This happens to be uh, clear Gorilla tape, so it's like duct tape almost. Um, and now, this basically rounds out my toolkit, more or less. You know, there's a few other things in there, but if you have everything here, uh, this will get you through, like I said, 80 to 90% of the uh, just problems around the house you run into. What you don't see here, I'll add, is a level. I have a level, a two foot level. It's good to have a level, even if it's a little torpedo level. You can uh, hang up a picture or make sure something's straight on the wall. And uh, carpenter's pencils, because that level, when you're not making sure things are straight, doubles as a straight edge. So you combine this with maybe a hand saw or a circular saw, uh, but you know, really you don't want anything that big in your bag, but combined this with maybe a couple power tools and this is everything you need to do, like I said, most jobs. And when I come up to a job not knowing what to expect, this bag with my hammer and my, my drill and my tape measure that rides on the side here, uh, it gets me by and I'm able to fix most of the jobs that I encounter. And this is proof too, like this bag being three, four bucks. And this is actually a, a office organizer for papers that I paid, I think $2 for. Put it in and it organizes my tools so everything's kind of sectioned off. That's proof that you don't need to spend lots of money to have an organized and portable way to bring your tools and, and go uh, fix things, service clients, or just uh, move around the house. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is my tool bag setup. Like I said, good for the homeowner and general contractor, handyman. Uh, if you're a handy person, you're likely already gonna have all these tools and maybe even a few, uh, few other ones. All right, thanks for watching.